Isn't it strange how we find ourselves in these modern times? Undoubtedly, our understanding of genetics has bestowed upon us remarkable abilities. With the power to manipulate DNA and genes, we can essentially play the role of a divine creator, fashioning new and unconventional animals to serve various purposes. The realm of possibilities seems boundless, including the creation of hybrid animals. While we haven't achieved the fusion of a turkey with a lion just yet, this video presents an array of fascinating hybrid creatures. Prepare to witness a unique avian specimen and the incredible polished cattle, among other captivating examples. Join us as we explore seven hybrid animals crafted by the hands of scientists. Number seven, Deep. Deep, that's a goat and a sheep, in case you couldn't figure that one out. These two animals have been living together for longer than recorded history, and yet integrating between them is very rare. They are a different genus, but are from the same family Cabernet. Goats and sheep are a little too different to one another to produce any healthy offspring. So most geeps are still born, but there are records of some geep, which have survived and even grown up. Back in 2000, a baby geep was born healthy and grew up with legs like a goat and the body of a sheep. It also had a wooly inner coat, like a sheep, and a chorus outer one like a goat. It was also known to have an overactive libido going after any female goat or sheep it could find. At my petting zoo in Scottsdale, Arizona, a baby geep named Butterfly was born in 2014. It became a star attraction, although hopefully not for its Casanova-style behavior. Number six, Zubrin. Here's a bovine hybrid you might not have heard of. The Zubrin, it's a mixture of a domestic cow and a European bison, which is also known as a wizen. This animal was first bred in Poland and was named back in the 1960s. They are very heavy animals, which can weigh as much as 2,600 pounds and are considered to be the relatives of the American beefalo. That's right. I said beefalo, not buffalo. The Zubaran is sought after cattle because they are highly resistant to diseases and can tolerate harsh weather conditions with ease. It was first bred as an experiment back in 1847 by Leopold Wallachy of Poland. Scientists believed for a long time that the Zubaran could completely replace the domestic cattle worldwide. Imagine heading out for a Zubaran or getting into some tasty Zubaran jerky. The Polish Academy of Scientists continued its experiments with the Zubrin throughout the 20th century, but the Zubrin didn't really catch on in the way they had hoped. But there's still hope that one day everyone will have tried a Zubrin Big Mac at least once. Number 5. Rakulhan. The Rakulhan is a truly amazing bird that you would be extremely lucky to ever see in the wild. It is a mixture of the western capercaillie and the black grouse. The western capercaillie is a common bird throughout Europe and is known to be the largest of all gross species, as well as being remarkable for the huge size of the males, which have amazing black, green, and brown plumage and are twice the size of the females. The black gross is another cool-looking game bird, not quite as large, but still pretty big when scientists mixed these two birds. They ended up with the rakulhan, which is a massive and awesome-looking bird. The only problem is that it has the personality of Ed Kemper. Like this bird is a psychopath and insanely aggressive to anything including people. But worse than that, there are videos of this bird going on, killing sprees, attacking and beheading a male black grouse, which might have been its dad. And then, shall we say, having its way with the corpse, which seems a little excessive, the good news is that the Rakulhan is unable to reproduce so hopefully these psycho killer birds will not take over the world anytime soon. Before we go on like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Time for the rare topic. Here's a fact you might not know. Zebras and rhinos are actually not so distantly related. They might look very different, but they share a fairly recent genetic ancestor. And this opens the possibility that they could one day be made into a hybrid, which is what this image shows 
and there are some mad scientists out there who are claiming that this is an animal which has escaped from their secret hybrid lab and they want it back. Other people think it might just be the work of a genius of Photoshop. Is this a real animal spotted on safari? Or do you think that the extra stripes would make the rhino an even more formidable creature? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Henny. What do you get if you cross a male horse and a female donkey? The answer is a henny. The smart ones of you watching might be saying, hey, wait a minute. Isn't that just a plain old mule? The answer is no, because a mule is a male donkey bred with a female horse is a much more common hybrid. Also, the genetic imprint means that mules and hennies are very different to each other. Hennies are smaller and have more donkey-like temperaments, generally more relaxed and slow moving but also pretty stubborn. But mules are more courageous, energetic, and agile like a horse. In fact, they both have important jobs in different circumstances. A henny is ideal as a pack mount, while a mule is perfect for riding out on the trail. Hennies are notorious for their stubbornness, but both mules and hennies can be pretty stubborn. So, prepare for some negotiation. This is actually because they are very smart and able to read a situation, and they won't let you drag them into doing something risky or dangerous for no good reason. Number 3. Wolfen. Now we have the Wolfen, which sounds pretty weird, that's for sure. It is the offspring of a bottlenose dolphin, and a false killer whale and Wolfen are actually something which occurs in nature. Although very rarely, False killer whales are about halfway between a dolphin and a killer whale in size, with a scent tooth much more similar to the killer whale. They can grow to 20 feet long and will hang out with all kinds of different species, and the males like to hit on pretty much any female they can find, no matter what species. So that's how this sometimes happens in the wild. Often can reach 12 to 22 feet in length and around 600 pounds of weight. And while Bottlenose's dolphin has 88 teeth, false killer whale 44 teeth. The dolphin has 66 teeth, which is an average of the two parents. In captivity, the first dolphin known of is Kakemolu, who was born in 1985. They tend to inherit more characteristics from the dolphin inside, but will still be much larger aside from Kikemolu. The only other captive Wolfen is her daughter Tawi Kai. Number 2. Growler Bear If we go back just a few short years, there was a huge space between the habitats of grizzly bears and polar bears. They each had their own patch and were pretty unlikely to ever meet. But now as the polar ice caps melt, polar bears have begun moving south and they have begun to cross over for the first time. What does this mean? Maybe a lot of fights, but a little loving too, and to the birth of some growler bears. The internet has been trying to figure out who would win in a fight between a polar bear and a grizzly in a fight. But the answer is that everyone wins when they decide to snuggle instead. Some people also like calling them pizzly bears, which is pretty hilarious. The first ever growler was observed in 2006, and while only three more cases have been officially recorded, Scientists believe they can make more of these hybrids and add a new bear species to the world, so next time your trash gets destroyed. You can tell everyone it was by a pisley, I mean a, a growler bear. Number 1. Bifalo. Yep, we mentioned it earlier, and now it's time to take a look at the mighty Bifalo. This has to be the champion of the most awesome name for a hybrid animal competition. Who wouldn't want me to Bifalo? It's a hybrid of an American buffalo and a domestic cow. This mix was first created by accident back into the 18th century, but it soon dawned on people that the beefalo's super hardy nature headed to regular cattle would make the beefalo a very useful species for farming, especially as buffalo or less hungry than domestic cattle too. The meat is even considered to be better, so this species is set to increase in numbers as more people wake up to the benefits of the beefalo they can weigh as much as 2,000 pounds and usually have fine and dark colored hair 
while they are known to be docile and very tolerant to diseases. Unlike domestic animals, the ideal mix is actually about two-thirds cattle and one-third buffalo. So it takes a little math to get to the mix, right? Since you can't really have three parents, which two animals would you like to hybridize? Which would you like to see a human-animal hybrid one day? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.